Steelers game at Three River Stadium tomorrow will also mark a milestone for the Baldwin High School Band. They will march onto the field in the footsteps of band members 29 years past. Dave Crawley tells a story with a beginning and an end in KD Country. Trombones, let's follow the leader. In a cold, damp parking lot, the Baldwin High School Band prepares for the show of a lifetime. One, two, ready, play. The Highlanders Marching Band has the honor of performing at the final Steelers game ever in Three Rivers Stadium. For a band that has won many honors, this one's the capper. And to make it doubly sweet, it was a Baldwin High School band that performed at the very first Steelers game in Three Rivers in 1971. The story of that band of long ago is told in the pages of this old yearbook. Seems it was an overcast day at Three Rivers when they took the field. They did bring the Steelers luck. This photo indicates the Steelers beat the Giants 21 to 6. Now another band prepares for a moment to remember. They've worked really hard all season. They've had a great season. Uh, I don't know if they're nervous, but I certainly am. And one, two, ready, play. Knowing that we're performing for so many people, we're going to put out our best. <laughs> We're just really excited to go in there and play and just have fun. And it's the last game ever at Three Rivers Stadium, and it's just really exciting. For Hillary Miller, this final performance will have a special meaning. Hillary's mother was a Highlander majorette in the band that performed in that first game 29 years ago. She remembers lining up along the sideline and all of them going onto the field, and she was nervous and very excited. Now her daughter will share that experience. Bringing down the house in KB country. I'm Dave Crawley. And that is the news for now. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll be back tonight at 11. We hope you are too. Have a nice evening.